Okay, the pipeline using output from a PowerShell. All right, get child item. This, remember, verb noun when PowerShell commandlets, it's verb noun. So get is the verb, child item is the noun. Th you got to remember, verb noun is sort of the common methodology or the guidelines of building, you know, commandlets. So get child item means the same thing as DIR, if you're familiar with directory, or LS, if you're familiar with bash, it's the same thing. Get the child item in my current directory, okay? So this is no different. Get child item is the same thing, child item. That's the same thing. You can also do an alias, GCI. GCI is the same thing, just shorter, okay? Now, what happens after? So we do get child item and we pipe it, but piping, you know, pipe this particular symbol, pipe, all that means is just take the results and the output that is coming out on the screen here, these two items, do something with it. So if you if we um, if we do if we uh, take this and then we do a for each object and we open the bracket inside that bracket we're going to do something with each item in that list so let's write host and let's just write the name right and that is the same thing, right? It, it, it cleans it up and we only want the name. Did you see what I do? I'm sorry, did you see what I did there? Let's look again, right? Let me delete all this. Remember, here's the name, here's the length, here's the last write time, here's the mode. I can get anything, there's basically four different columns. And if I did the same thing, And I did write dollar sign underscore and dollar sign underscore, right? This particular thing right here, remember this is the pipe and it's sending each item to a dollar sign underscore. It's an automatic variable. Automatic variable because we couldn't name it anything. We just give it dollar sign underscore. If you just know that after a pipe and you're looping through things, dollar sign underscore is just a common um, an automatic variable that's created, okay? So now that you know that, we're gonna do a dot to indicate we wanna specify something within that variable, which could be mode, last write time, length, or name. We're gonna specify maybe last write time. We run it again and I get nothing. Oh, because I put right. Let's try again. There you go. See, I didn't put right host. I just put right. So, right, you, you understand? We're looping, again, we're looping this into that dollar sign, okay? And if you understand that, then this last command makes a lot of sense, right? GCI is the short for get child item, we're piping it, and percent is really for each object. And then you're doing this. So this is the exact same thing as writing the higher statement, okay? Hopefully this makes sense.